Hey, would you ever go on a dating app? No. No? Not even the one where the celebrities are on? No. I, because I feel like if anyone who's on that, like, then they're on it too. And they're like swiping around looking like all my friends are on it and I watch them. Yeah. And it's just not even cute people. It's they're like, not. They're are, they, are they celebrities? Or are they? Both. A lot of my friends are on it. They're all on Raya. Do you have a um, thing? Because I always said I'm never dating an actor. Now I'm married to the greatest actor. Mm -hmm. But do you find yourself liking people not in the industry more? Yes. Do you feel, though, that they don't understand it, though, sometimes? And you're like, fuck, man, you don't understand what it's like to be me. So it's kind of tricky, isn't it? It is tricky, but I just, I don't know. I feel that if someone can understand your life and just being like a powerful woman and not being intimidated by that, it's it's hard to find. Let me tell you something, girlfriend. <laughs> that is big. And I talk about it on my show constantly because I dated so many, I call them wing clippers. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I need a fluffer and not the kind on porno sets. I need someone <laughs> to fluff my wings and allow me to fucking fly mm -hmm. and not hold me back. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine how many guys tried to stop you. So many. It just in the beginning it's like always very sweet and then all of a sudden they just like want like you said like you're a bird and they want to put the bird in the cage right but the bird wants to fly totally <laughs> and how do you how do you make sure you fly is it that you just have to leave the relationship I just say I'm the boss it's either my way or the highway or bye Oh my God, I fucking love you. I fucking love you. Oh my God, that's so amazing. So if you don't find the guy of your dreams, let's say in the next few years, will you do a Kourtney Kardashian and freeze your eggs possibly just so you have them? I think that's smart for every woman to do. Just you never know what's going to happen in the future and it's good to have control over that. Right? Mm -hmm. So you haven't done it yet? No. But open to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I feel like if I had some embryos laying around or whatever, I'd be like, fucking, I need to cook them all. Like, <laughs> I would feel so bad, like, having them sitting around. How many kids do you want? I want probably two or three. That's perfect. Definitely a girl named London. Oh. And then the boy, I don't know, maybe Paris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I love that.